This episode was recorded on April 8th. Welcome to the Polytopian Interviewer, where I interview people on their experiences and views on the Polytopia Discord community. I have Professor Funny with me today. How are you? I'm great. It's an interesting um, username you got there. Thank you. I actually got it from an idea from a different YouTuber that kind of just like, hey, I like he was making a joke on his own name, and that was funny, and I like that name, so I decided to call myself Professor Funny. I kind of just went with that. I was originally called Booward, which is kind of the name of the character on my profile picture. It's like this thing I misspelled on purpose for this humorous comic I made a while back. Hmm. Let's get right into it. How did you first get into the Polytopia Discord? A year or two ago, when I was first discovering Polytopia, I was on Discord, so I naturally was like, hey, why not just join the Discord server, because it's going to be interesting to join that. So I went ahead and looked it up and found that there's a pretty official one, so I went ahead and joined that. You first joined Maine in August of 2019 and then rejoined in January of this year. Any comment on that? Yes, so I kind of sometimes lose interest in things kind of easily, especially I used to. In the summer of 2019, that was the first time I got into it. And I guess I left because I stopped playing the game for a little bit, probably due to lack of updates. And I was not good at art at all back then. So I just left it so I can save more space on Discord. But then I rejoined this year when I got back into it early January. And I'm surprised I was able to still be interested in the game after all this time, probably due to the release of Samanti in February. A lot of people came back after the release of Polaris or Samanti. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, when I first started playing the game, actually, it was when Polaris was just released, shortly after I started playing the game. I thought that was pretty cool. Aha, uh-huh, I like what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Forgive me for my pronunciation. You made the Burkiku your own fan tribe, as well as a mining tribe. You planning on adding them to the FMT server? Yeah, so there's actually a huge backstory behind this, and the first answer to that is probably not, because when I first got into the game, was when I usually started joining fandoms, I got pretty interested in it, and usually like to kind of make my own things with it, so I'm... Well, there's an FMT thing, but I like made these, I think there's 40, yeah, 40 in each of them. I just mashed Spurs and Google Translate together because I did not know how to name things really well back then. Burkikyu was supposed to just be like these defensive dudes. They would actually work as a good tribe, so I would look into doing that. But the mining tribe, formerly known as the Sashishi, but now the Mineroids, they were just miner guys. And I kind of expand upon them, so I'm pretty proud of them. I probably would also add them to the FMT server, but probably not after I finish my current tribe there. Was your mining tribe an an inspiration from any of the other mining fan tribes? Because if I recall Um, correctly, there was quite a few different ideas for that. Not really, actually, because I was not really the FMT whole thing until, like, I was in the FMTs. I was just, like, not in the... Until I, like, started posting artwork I made in Blender for the mining tribes. Then people were recognizing those and then asked me some of my questions about it. So I decided to add it to the FMT wiki. No one asked me anything, but a lot of people also had mining tribes. I think that's pretty cool about that. I am pretty sure my ideas are original. I hope they are. One of the features was carts can go through mountains like roads, correct? Yes, kind of like the creep feature, but it's basically just only ignoring mountains as a block. Roads can go through mountains. So, new. Basically, roads is replaced with tunneling, whereas the road is made probably like a dark blue or gray-ish color, and, or like purplish, and it would go through mountains, so trade routes can be connected through mountains, and I thought that was a pretty original concept. Sounds pretty cool to me. I hope you continue working Thank on you. it. Thank you. Is there any comment as to why you aren't in the Polytopia Sprite art server? I was part of it at first. 
after I first joined the FMT server. I kind of just wasn't ever posting anything there, and it was it seemed a little bit inactive to me, probably because I wasn't paying attention to it because I was too focused on other things. So I guess I kind of just left it to clear space because I'm already part of a lot of servers. I could join it back, though, to maybe post some sprite art I've made. I guess there's not much for me to put there. Yeah, there's also the Polytopian Art Gallery, but that's not necessarily sprite-specific. People do like seeing art, so you should put it out there. I usually do. Especially renders I made in Blender. I usually make a lot of building models. Especially the one that was most difficult was Hudrick. I've also done Omaji, Quetzali, Tribe Luxador. I've done Imperius and Polaris, but Imperius and Polaris are not done yet. Hmm. That reminds me of, there's this person on Reddit that did a blender render of a city and made it as a wallpaper. I don't remember who that is, but I thought that it was pretty cool. pretty interesting. Like for Polytopia, just like a normal city. Yeah, it was like level six or something with city walls and had Polytopia with or without the logo. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. You mentioned Blender a lot. Is that your main program for making art? Yes, I usually I make a lot of renders in Blender already. Like I, it's my main program I use. But for sprite art I make, I usually make it in Blender. Then I trace it in Iowa's Paint. And that was most of my arts from like that. A lot of my artwork for my Haunted Tribe on um, the FMT server. And pretty much all the art there was made on Blender and then traced on Ibis Paint. I forgot that there was a Haunted. It, so that one is different, I'm assuming, from the one somebody submitted for an old Halloween contest? Are you talking about Necrosis? Yeah, that one. It was the inspiration. I had inspiration behind that, but they're more just Halloween monsters, and this tribe is more like eerie ghosts, mysterious ghosts -y. A lot of gastropods are present, too. Hmm. One of the reasons I got back in the blender was the person who made that, I was, like, inspired by their Polytopia art. But I thought it'd be cool if I tried doing this, and I did. So that was pretty nice. Yeah, it's always cool to see artists in Polytopia, even though some people claim all they do is do art and not really play any games. The same goes kind of for me from, like, on the school bus or whatever. I usually play Polytopia then. But I'm not good at the game very much, so I usually just only play in easy mode. By way, I prefer, like, doing art. Like, my favorite thing about the game is the gameplay, but also, like, the charmingness of, like, all the tribes and the artwork is so cute, but also charming. So it's just a really fun art style that I really enjoy. Does that mean you won't enjoy doing Hexania art? <laughs> <laughs> I always thought when I first heard what Hexonia was I like this game's pretty similar to Polytopia and I tried playing it but my phone was being all weird and not letting me play it so I just watched like gameplay of it it's an interesting game I have to say and I get like it can be inspired by Polytopia so I think that's nice like it's really similar but not too similar like the texts are very similar at the same time Mm -hmm. On the other extreme, what about pixel art? Um, I used to dabble in pixel art a lot, especially when I was once in a Pokemon phase. I would make a lot of sprite art for that with my own little fan-made characters. But otherwise, I usually don't use pixel art. Mm. Do you have any tips for current or aspiring Polytopia fan artists? Yeah, so... I usually am not good at this kind of thing in interviews with tips, but I guess mostly tracing using thinner lines a lot. I see a lot of people using a bit more messy lines. I guess it depends on the program you're using. Like a lot of people use MS Paint, but if you're like a phone or iPad, I have Paint X is free, so that's a pretty good program to use. Blender is also free, and it's kind of difficult to get the hang of, but if you just look up tutorials on how to use it, you can get the hang of it pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And probably start on not too ambitious projects, especially if you have not great a computer. Yes, that was my big stake when I first started using Blender. The reason I got Blender was so I could 
do some other stuff. It was not Bluetooth related because I got it beforehand and stopped using it. But then I got back into it after knowing the basics and tried redoing the things I previously immediately jumped into, and it turned out way better. I guess another tip is don't jump into things, the big projects mainly. And practice makes perfect, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. What's your favorite tribe, if you have one? My favorite tribe is actually, it's kind of balanced between three of them. Quetzali was my favorite when I first started playing, because I am a big fan of birds. When I first started playing the game, so I'm like, I'm just going to buy one of these, because Zinzi's there, and Zinzi's actually the tribe I'm part of an official server and playcraft. I have a house by a river. So Zinzi, Quetzali, and Yadak are my three favorites, because I have, I'm pretty good at playing as Yadak. Zinzi's pretty close to me because my favorite free tribe, and I like their art style a lot. And Quetzali's a bunch of birds, and I really like their lore and Aztec inspiration is really interesting as well. Now I have to ask, why isn't Barter one of your favorite free tribes? <laughs> yeah, Barter's one of my, my favorite free tribes. Imperious, believe it or not, is probably my least favorite because i just kind of bored by them. My favorite thing about Imperious is the horse. But Barter, I like their architecture a lot, especially like the, the Scandinavian theme and the snowy lands is pretty interesting in my opinion. You also mentioned Polycraft. Are you in the Quetzali tribe then for that? I'm in Zinzi. I haven't played in a while though because it, for my Minecraft, I play Bedrock because I can't afford Java really. It worked on Bedrock and I was able to build a house. At least I was able to finish it, but that just didn't let me back into the world. So I'm probably just going to have to remove it and try re-inputting the IP. Hmm. I was in Polycraft for a little bit, but then I left, came back two weeks later, and didn't save my teleports, and I lost my house. So uh, there went that. Whatever you're part of. <laughs> I was briefly part of Bardur, and then I was like, eh, I'm just going to be on my own, because I hmm. set the chat to commands only. Well. Team chat counts as commands, so that got annoying for me. Yeah, the chat's always kind of annoying, when especially when I was playing. It was always blurring in my face, and I didn't really know how to turn it off. Yeah, that was one of the first things I did and didn't realize. Well, with chat off, I can't do any commands. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a favorite unit? Oh, my first time playing the game, it was Knights, because they had the Persist skill. But now I gotta say it's the centipede because they're just mm -hmm. so funny looking, and their eat skill. Which, like I just find it really hilarious. So they just kill you and they get longer. So like, by the end of the game, when I'm playing as Samani, I just have six centipedes all barraging one small capital. It's kind of hilarious when that happens. Beware of good human opponents. They'll come in with a knight. Yeah, especially your catapults. That's why I usually have defenders surrounding my catapults. Hmm. How many Polytopia servers would you consider yourself active in? Probably only two out of the amount I'm part of. I'm part of one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm part of six, and only two I'm really active in, which is the main one and the FMT one. But it's mostly the main one, so I can post my art there. Fair enough. Do you have a most memorable game you ever played? I gotta say probably the first one I ever played because I was new to the game, so I can still like remember learning it. I remember the first job I encountered. I was visiting my grandparents that day I first played the game. I remember like I was I think so I don't remember exactly, but yeah, I was playing as Quit Sally. So it was really interesting to start a new game and just, hey, I'm probably gonna play this game for a while. Last question. What's your favorite part of the Polytopia Discord as a whole? I don't know if this is really part of the Discord, but my favorite, I guess, is post on Discord. I really like the Tribe Moon artwork. How every month they post this big 3D rendering of some lore for the tribe. My favorite so far has been probably, if I had to pick, it would be the Quetzali, I think it's 2020, with the big totem pole. Because that was pretty nice to look at and i've tried to do stuff like that but i'm not very good at decorating and stuff like that well with practice you eventually will be right mm -hmm. 
I'm decent in Minecraft, or that's what my friend says, at least. Sorry. In Polycraft, I collected my favorite tribe's heads, scattered them around my house. You walk in the door, and Zabassi is staring right at you. you go on the porch. There are Yadok staring directly at you, and so is the zombie section I got. Hmm. <laughs> that's all the questions I had. Nice. I should probably be going now. Thank you for this interview. Gonna work on some more art? Probably, actually. That was, that was planning on doing. I should just probably start working on more of the units for my ghost tribe. Sounds like a good idea to me. Bye, thank you. See you around. Bye. Bye. As always, thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, feel free to share it. For the text version, you can join my Discord in the description. I also have a YouTube channel where I play 1v1s and occasionally do tutorials. We'll be back next week. Bye!